trust me, you want to wear headphones for this video. And if you can, get a good pair. What I've got up here is the SP15V Binaural Microphone from Sonic Presence. With just this one device, you'll be able to capture real surround sound the way a person would hear it. So right now the audio you're hearing is from the Rode Wireless Me mic I got mounted up here, but let me switch to these mics so you can get a sample uh, before I get into all the details. So right now I'm plugging the microphone to a camera here because the version I have comes with a 3.5mm TRS uh, connection. You can also get another version that comes with a USB-C or lightning port connection. So for example, you can connect it to an iPhone or Android phones. Uh, or you can also plug it directly to like, let's say a laptop. Now the way you mount this microphone is by putting it in sort of uh, as if you were wearing uh, earbuds. You have the right and the left microphone, so you just put them over your ears. All right, so I'm recording uh, and now you guys are hearing the audio from this surround sound microphone. So what is it? Well, uh, as you guys can see, it comes with two condenser omnidirectional uh, capsules. So one will go over your right ear to record what you, essentially your right ear would be hearing and the other one over your left ear. Uh, and it records basically stereo uh, ch channel or two channels to your camera or to your uh, audio recording device but it also captures like all the little subtleties of how sound reacts when for example it bounces you know off of walls or bounces even here like around your head uh, so that you can actually get a feeling of uh, let's say you know not just the left and right like for example if i do this on the right side or here on the left <laughs> i gotta get better at that uh, but you can also even get like sounds behind and even as the sound goes from the front. Now, obviously me talking, you're just gonna kind of hear it pretty much the same from both, uh, because again, it's as if you were hearing yourself. So what are these microphones really designed for? Well, like I said, they're for capturing surround sound or spatial sound. Uh, and uh, if, I don't know if you heard recently, but like companies like Apple, for example, and a few others are designing new products so that you'll be able to uh, consume and really experience spatial sound. Well, now these microphones let you uh, capture spatial sound in a very simple way because, again, you don't need a whole engineering team, it's like sound engineers or anything like that. Or you don't need any special devices, you just need a camera or an audio recorder and these microphones. With these mics, you can capture spatial audio for a lot cheaper. At the time of me doing uh, this video, these retail for $140. There are a few discounts here and there, so check out the links in the description. Uh, and also, you're able to do it with a very simple and I would almost call it like a setup where most people won't even know what you're doing. Like my tests so far when I've been walking around, most people thought that I was literally wearing just a you know, pair of ear earbuds so I could kind of monitor the audio from my camera. Uh, when in fact, uh, again, I have a spatial sound recording device. Now I do have to admit, originally when I saw these and before I ordered them, I, I kind of was very skeptical, but I thought, oh, you know, I'm getting into all of this new technology. I want to experiment. So I thought, eh, what the hell, it's only 140 bucks. Let me try it out. And I have been really, really pleasantly surprised with the results so far. From my experience, these mics are amazingly well at capturing ambient uh, sounds. So if you go in a certain location and you want to be able to capture all those little subtleties of not just the left and the right, but like I said, just having that spatial awareness uh, you know, of that ambience of that place, then that's where these mics really shine. So let me first play a few samples. And again, I urge you guys to wear a good pair of headphones so you can really sort of immerse yourself in the sound. Uh, and even better, like if you can, just close your eyes and just kind of, you're gonna see right away that you feel like you're in those places.
los dos. A ver. Now, something that these microphones, again, from my experience, are not very good at is uh, capturing very sort of, again, directional audio, right? So if you, for example, want to capture somebody talking, but they're in a location that happens to be very loud, well, then it's not going to be very good to doing that with the, these microphones because these will capture equally all the sound around. Now, for example, for capturing my audio, like right now, uh, for this video where I'm in a sort of a controlled environment and it's just me talking and otherwise there isn't really any background noise yeah these are going to be good for that but again it's sort of a kind of a pick and choose uh, depending on the situation what's up what do you want okay you want that or ice cream now if you do want to capture let's see somebody talking uh, with these mics definitely you can but again you want to make sure that then the environment isn't too loud so there's not too many competing sounds and then uh, for example especially if you have somebody moving around you you're going to be able to get that really cool effect where you can kind of almost hear the person going from you know from the front to the let's say to the right and behind you and, and even though this only has two microphones left and right uh, but because of their size and because of their design and the fact that you're mounting it directly on your ears So these mics are able to capture these subtleties of how sound kind of bounces within your ears or off of your face shoulders things like that uh, You're really again able to get that 3d surround sound Which you would not be able to get if you just simply got two, you know Condenser microphones and you just simply pointed them left and right Right now, I'll kind of show you guys again a quick little demo. I'm just going to play a sample of me talking from another video. And I'll, again, I'll kind of move around so you guys can again get that sort of uh, spatial 3D surround sound as the, the sound kind of carries, you know, from one side to the other, front and back also. You have an Android phone. When it comes to computers, I've always been a Windows guy. Now, early on in my career, I was forced to use uh, the, the Macs, or the, the MacBooks, or no, they're not MacBooks, they're... Basically, they were just these awkward looking monitor things with like transparent plastic behind it. I forgot the name of it. Hey, regardless, I had to use it for some graphics that we're working on and I hated using it. Basically, my opinion of Apple has always been that they're overpriced and oversimplified. Like they're, they're okay for somebody who doesn't know much about computers, but if you want to really go in there, customize the settings and really do something more advanced, which is what I do a lot in my work, uh, then I, so hopefully these samples give you a nice uh, sort of taste of what's capable uh, with a simple device like this. So again, spatial sound, you're probably going to be hearing that term more and more as this technology kind of develops. And especially with the new VR goggles from whether it's Apple or other companies and a lot of VR content, uh, especially with that stuff, the spatial sound I think is going to be uh, really useful. Now personally I think even aside from all that VR stuff just when it comes to traditional media whether it's uh, films or like the video you're watching right now like traditional 2D content I think these microphones will come in real handy. Uh, for me I know I'll be using them definitely when it comes to capturing real lifelike uh, ambience from different locations that I'll probably later on then mix down and uh, sort of you know, mix it maybe with other sounds or, or a dialogue or whatever that I record uh, into my final sound mix. Uh, but again, whether it's for that or whether, for example, you might be trying to create sort of a spatial experience, uh, sort of a 3D sound experience, uh, maybe even not for video content, but just for, I don't know, for podcasts or things like that. Again, this is something worth looking into, definitely at the price that they offer them. So, if you guys want uh, all the links, discounts, and information, then as always, check out my website at tomantasfilms.com or just follow the links in the description of this video. Anyways, that's it for this video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.